Ted, are you there? You and I have got some serious talking to do, young man. How long are you going to be drawing those silly little sketches of yours, huh? Why can't you be more like your perfect sister Sonia, huh? She's so good at everything, and has already done so much with her life. Hi there, Mom. I agree with you that Sonia is pretty incredible, and I'm really proud to have her as a sister. But I really don't see why you always need to be comparing my life to hers. Oh, please. What would some snot-nosed little teenager like you know about life, huh? You don't know the first thing about hard work, and all you want to do is play all day and never have to worry about the serious matters in life. This is why you're never ever going to be on the same level as your sister. Do you get it? Well, I just think that you should know that the only person who tells me that I'll never be good enough all the time are you and Sonya, actually. That's because we're the ones who know you best and see the total lack of promise that you show for anything. All you do is sit around the house all day, watch TV, and draw your stupid drawings. Not only that, but now you've got some new stupid gadget to keep drawing when you should be focused on more important things. Oh, you mean my tablet? Well, yeah, I think that basically every modern digital artist has one of these now. So anyways, if you see it, just know that it's not a sketchbook or anything. It's actually a pretty expensive piece of hardware. You think I care all about what that is? The moment I see that machine again, I'm going to rip it out of your hands and throw it in the trash. I wouldn't do that, Mom. This actually doesn't belong to me at all. It belongs to your brother. You mean it belongs to your Uncle Mark? Why do you have it? Well, I guess this is kind of an older model, but he knows how much I like to draw and said that I could hold on to it. Although, given that Uncle Mark is a really famous artist, I seriously doubt that what he uses now are the cheap tablets. This one seems like it's still in really good condition, though, even though it's an older model. So, if you threw it away, I think that you'll probably just end up getting your brother mad at you. He might even make you pay to replace it if you do anything to damage it. And just why in the world is your uncle lending you something so expensive then, huh? Well, because like I said, he knows that I want to be an artist too. So I think that he wanted to let me learn what it's like to draw on this thing. And I don't think it would be very polite of me to return it to him since he brought it all the way here for me the last time that he visited. Well, just what do you think you're going to do if you break it while you use it, huh? Well, Uncle Mark told me that he doesn't care if I'm the one who breaks it as long as I'm very, very careful with it. Ugh, I just can't even with you. You seriously drive me crazy. Do you know that? Hey, Uncle Mark, are you there? I just wanted to let you know that I did just as you said, and it actually worked. I told my mom that this tablet was basically brand new and really expensive, and that you would be mad if anything happened to it, and she agreed not to touch it. Oh, really? You mean she gave it up that easily? Well, if that's all it took, we should have thought of that a long time ago. But I still do really think this is a nice tablet. Are you sure that you want me to have it? <laughs> of course you can have it. I wouldn't have given it to you if I didn't want you to have it, Ted. I mean, it is true that it's a slightly older model, and I already have a newer one for me to work on anyway, so I have no problem with you holding on to that one anyway. Just don't break it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Uncle Mark. I just, well, what's the matter? Aren't you happy with your new tablet and that your mom isn't going to touch it? I just, why are you doing this for me? I don't understand it. I know that you know I really want to be an artist like you when I grow up, and that's why I practice so much, but I also know that I'm nowhere near as brilliant as my sister or anything like that. I guess I just, I, I don't think I'm worthy of you giving me things like this, or encouraging me the way you do. I'm just not worth it. Are all those things that your mom has said to you, Ted? Yeah, whenever I do anything or show her one of my drawings, she always compares it to something that Sonya has done. I can never stand on my own. I always have to live in the shadow of my own sister. I really wonder about what her deal could be. I mean, that is no way for a parent to be talking about her kid at all. I've tried going up to her as her brother, as your uncle, and telling her to ease up with the way she treats you. But she just never ever listens to me. But why not? Why does she treat me like this? Can't she see that I'm trying my best? Ted, do you think your mother acting like this has gotten worse ever since your parents got their divorce? I just wonder if she's clinging on to how smart and brilliant Sonya is because she can see her in your dad. And that's why she's favoring your sister. So then, you think that Sonya's super smart too? Well, I do think she's very smart, but I don't think that's the only thing of value that someone can bring to the table. You mean that being smart isn't the most important thing that someone can be? I mean, I'm no philosopher or anything, so I don't know how to make this sound pretty, but I think that we all have something inside of ourselves that's different that we can contribute. You think that it's okay for everyone to be a little different? But mom is always telling me to be more like Sonya. 
I know, but that's your mom's problem. But what I'm trying to say is that you need to realize that you have value inside yourself. You shouldn't derive your self-worth from what other people have to say about you, because you'll never be able to be yourself if you do. But the one thing that you can never do, Ted, is to believe that you're worthless, okay? I have to believe that I'm not worthless? That's right, you do have worth, and as you grow up, paths are gonna open up for you, and you're gonna be able to show the world what you've been keeping inside of you. You really think that one day someone's gonna like my drawings, Uncle Mark? I know that one day people are gonna hold up your art and say that that is the work of a brilliant artist. But just remember that what I've said here doesn't just apply to you. You have to remember that everyone has something that they're passionate about. We just so happen to be lucky because we both love drawing. So just know that you can always come to me for any advice or supplies or anything else that you might need. I want you to know that you have people rooting for you. And that even if you don't believe it, I know that you have value. Uncle Mark, thank you so much. I promise that I won't let you down. I'll never give up on my drawings. <laughs> don't worry about letting me down, kiddo. Worry more about letting yourself down. Well, it's official. Your sister is going to be studying abroad in Italy, and I'm going to go with her. Wait, what? So Sonia got into a college in Italy? Is she still not going to be starting in school until around September? That's what the schedule says. Can you believe that this is all really happening? It's so exciting! And you're really going to be going with her? Are you just going to help her move and settle into her new school or something? No, no, no. I'm not going to do any of that. I'm going to stay there so that I can be there for your sister whenever she needs any support from me. Basically, her and I are going to go start our new lives in Italy. Isn't that great? Wait, so you're gonna go and live there permanently? What am I supposed to do? I mean, if you and Sonia are on the other side of the world, what am I gonna do? I don't know, but we're certainly not going to take you with us, that's for sure. You're really not gonna take me? You're just gonna leave me here? Oh please, you're already 16, Ted. We can't just babysit you forever. I can't believe that you're gonna go and abandon your own son to go and live in another country. How could you? Oh please, I'm not abandoning you. I've been saving up money so that I can give it to you as a goodbye present. It should be enough to tide you over until you're 18. And you think that makes what you're doing okay? I haven't even finished high school, Mom. You can't just leave me here, isn't that like illegal or something? There has to be some kind of process. You can't just abandon me like this, okay? I'm still a kid. You can't just make me live on my own. No, nothing like that. I told your dad about what Sonia and I were doing and told him that you would be going to live with him now. You just decided that for me too then, didn't you? You think that I want to go and live with him and his new wife and family? I think that he lives just a town away, and it really is the simplest solution for all of this. But you know that I can't just show up on his doorstep and demand he take me in, right? I mean, him and his wife have kids. I can't just barge in on them like that. Well, it sounds to be like you don't really have a choice in the matter if you want a home. After all, your brilliant, amazing sister and I are going to go live in Europe now. And you aren't in any position to tell us otherwise. So you're telling me that I really don't matter to you at all then? The only person who you think has any value in this family is you and Sonia? That's exactly what I'm telling you. I see. I guess I finally understand how things really are here then. What are you going on about now, you little weirdo? Nothing that concerns you, Mom. I was just talking to myself, really. But if you really think that I'm not worth even being a parent to, then I understand that just fine. Have a nice time in Italy, and I hope you choke on a meatball. <coughs> Uncle Mark, please, are you there? I need you to get back to me right now. This is really serious. I have something I have to tell you, and I, well, it's kind of selfish, I think. <laughs> Wait, what? You have something selfish to tell me? Well, that seems kind of unlike you, Ted. But anyway, what is it? What do you want to tell me? I'm thinking of dropping out of high school, and I would really like it if you came here to live with me. Wait, what? You're thinking of dropping out of high school? Ted, are you serious? Yeah, my mom and sister are gonna move to Italy for Sonia's college, and they're gonna leave me here. I'd heard that they were gonna move out, but I guess I'd assumed that they would bring you too. Well, they're just leaving me here to fend for myself, basically. But anyway, I would really like it if I can go and live with you. You mean that you really would want to come here and live with me? I really would. I mean, I know that I should be sad, but more than anything, I just feel so free about this. I'm already 16, so I can get a job and stuff like that. And if things get really bad, then I can always go to my dad for help. 
But your dad and mom have been divorced for almost 10 years now. Don't you barely talk to your dad anyways? Besides, I uh, heard that he never even paid your mom a cent of child support. And isn't he living with his new family and kids now anyway? That's all true, so I guess if I think about it, it would be difficult for me to approach him like this. Well, then I guess both you and I don't really have any other options, do we? I'll take you in, Ted. You can come and live with me. Really? You mean it? I really never thought my sister was capable of doing something like this. Leaving one of her children to go and run away to another country? It really is just horrible. But I'm not going to let you fall through the cracks because of this. Uncle Mark, thank you so much. You have no idea how much this means to me. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of paperwork that you and I are going to have to do, but if you come and live with me, then you have to promise that you're going to finish high school and get your diploma, okay? So, step back in your bags and I'll talk to my wife about what's going on and try to convince her. I'm sure that she'll say yes, though. I can't believe this is really happening. Is it bad to say that I've dreamt about going to live with you and leaving my mom and sister before? Well, I can't really blame you for all that, if I'm being honest. I know that I should be more sad or mad or upset, but I'm actually just so happy right now. Isn't that weird? I don't know if I've ever felt like this before. Well, hold on to that feeling and keep your spirits up, okay, Ted? Pack your bags and text me when you're done so I can go and pick you up. Are you there? It's your mom. I think it's been something like three years since you and I last spoke, so please get back to me. I heard from a friend that you graduated high school and you've already found a job as an artist. Is that true? I heard that you're making quite a bit of money from that too. Well, anyways, the truth is that I'm coming to move back to the US and I would really like it if you and I could live together. It would just be like the old times, so please, start moving back into our old house and get things ready for me, okay? Ted, are you there? What are you doing? Where are you? I thought I told you that I wanted our old house ready for me to move back into. Why are there all these strangers living here, huh? Just, where are you right now? Answer me! Well, 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 it's been quite some time since I heard from you. And just what kind of way is that to talk to your mother, huh? Who do you think you are? My mother? Sorry, but my mom and dad are at home. You're nothing to me. Nothing to you? How can you say that? I'm your mother, and you will treat me with respect. Now tell me where you're living right now. I've already told you I'm living with my mom and dad. I see. So basically, you're living with my brother and his wife. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I guess that's another way to put it, yeah. Well, then this makes things that much more simple. I'm going to be moving in with you in his house then. Then I'm going to go to the courts, make them give you back to me, and then you and I are going to live together while you pay for everything with your job. I'm afraid that isn't going to be happening. I'm 18 and you have no say over my life anymore. But how can you be so young and already make so much money? It doesn't make sense. Well, I've actually been making money off my art since I was still in high school. My new dad and I started uploading videos about how to draw and different techniques and we became a big hit. And since then, people have been reaching out wanting more videos or even to buy our art. But, I mean, I've heard that you've been featured in galleries and expos. You're always going around to all these different events and meeting all these amazing people. I decided to come back because it sounded to me like you were finally in a good spot to take care of me. Actually, I'm not doing any of those things at all. I'm just helping my dad with them. Wait a second. Are you telling me that your Uncle Mark is the one being invited to all these galleries and expos? Even the signings and fancy galas too? That's right. My dad is quite the famous artist now, didn't you know that? I had no idea at all. When did all this happen? Well, he's already published three art books and he even has his own gallery now. He's even been featured in a new novel as the illustrator. He really is blowing up. I had no idea about any of that. Yes, I can tell that you had no idea since you thought I was the only one doing all this. Although, maybe you're just confused because my dad and I started working together on YouTube. But now I'm handling all of that. How did it all come to this? <laughs> hey, what the heck is going on? Where are you? Where is your uncle? 
How are all these strangers in his house and what is going on here? What do you want this time? I want to know where you all are. You told me you were living with my brother and now I'm at his house and none of you are here. Wait a second, are you at his old house? Old house? What do you mean? I'm at the house that he's always lived at. What I want to know is where you all are. Oh, well, we all moved from there a while ago now, actually. Wait, you all moved? Are you serious? Did you really do that? Yeah, I think it was not long ago after I graduated high school, actually. Well, tell me where you're all living right now. Yeah, that is not going to be happening. Why don't you just go back to Italy and live with my perfect sister, huh? I can't stand that girl anymore. Ever since she started school, her grades have been slipping, and she even got knocked up by some guy and had a kid. She just doesn't know how to be responsible anymore, and that why I came back here to live with you. I see, so that's the real reason why you came running back to me. Well, unfortunately for you, I don't feel like telling you at all where we live. You ran away and abandoned me and I have no reason to help you. You're on your own! Hey, Clara, you need to leave my son alone, do you understand me? Mark? Is that really you? Just who do you mean when you say your son? You don't have any kids at all and we both know it. Are you talking about Ted? Because you know damn well that he is my son and you can't keep him. Actually, Ted is an adult now and he can make that decision for himself. It's not your place, mother or not, to order him around anymore. And just what is this supposed to mean? How dare you talk to his real mother like that? You don't get to tell me what I can't do and can't do with my own child. Well, your own child said he's gonna block you on everything so that you can never talk to him again. How does that make you feel? He's going to block me? Are you kidding me? He can't do this. I'm his mother. He needs to learn some respect. Actually, we were just waiting for the day when you might come back. He had already deleted your contact information when you left, but he realized it meant that he wasn't able to block you. So, now that you've reached out to him, he was finally able to put the last nail in the coffin and keep you away from him. How could you do this to me? You turned my own son against me. You're terrible. Do you realize that? No, Clara, you have done that to yourself. Ted is my son, and there's nothing you can say that's going to change the truth in our hearts. Your hearts? What kind of artsy-fartsy hippie crap is that? He is my son, and that is final. Well, if he is your son, then you've been doing a terrible job of being a mother, considering the fact that he doesn't even want to talk to you anymore. But I just... I thought if I pushed to be like his sister that he could be something great. That's just it, Clara. He was already someone great and you just couldn't see it. Maybe it was because you were so taken with your daughter. But you couldn't see the potential inside your son, and that's why he isn't yours anymore. I mean, the one thing a mother should do is try and bring out the best in their child and let them explore their interests in a productive way. But instead, you were always putting him down, making fun of his drawings, and making him feel like his own life didn't have any worth at all. It doesn't matter what you say. I'm still his mother. Nothing is ever going to change that. Just give it up already, Clara. Don't you think you've already done enough to the poor boy? Why are you treating him like he's an object? I'm not doing that. How dare you tell me how to treat my own son? Just who do you think you are, huh? Did you know that your own daughter reached out to me not long ago after you arrived back here? She did? What did she say? Why would she reach out to you? Well, she told me about how when she wanted to go to Italy, it was to get as far away from you as possible. But you insisted on going with her anyway. What are you talking about? I went there to go and support her. She's my brilliant daughter and I would do anything for her. Well, she explained to me how she cracked under the constant pressure that you were putting on her. And that's why she dropped out of her school. She told me about how she's married and has a kid now and that she's very happy with her life and regrets the way she treated her brother when she was younger. How dare she stab me in the back like that? Doesn't she understand how much I sacrificed to go and be there with her? So what? You're telling me that I'm just alone? That everyone thinks I'm the bad guy just because I was trying to do what's best for my children? How is that fair? She even told me to tell Ted that she's so sorry for everything, and that if he can ever forgive her that he's welcome to go and see her. If you still think that's what's going on here, then I think this conversation is over. Have a nice life and just leave us out of it, okay? Before moving to Italy, my mom actually worked from home with an online job. She figured that she would be able to move because she could work as long as she had a computer. 
but apparently the time difference was too much for her company, and after she moved, she quickly lost her job. She thought that she could get it back when she moved back here, but her company wasn't hiring. Realizing that she had no one willing to help her, she spent her savings to put money down on a small apartment and she's back to working in person. I ended up blocking her on everything and I have no idea what she's up to now. As for my new family and I, we're living in a nice cottage with a scenic view that provides plenty of inspiration for the art my dad and I make. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this.